Hello everyone, Luke here and welcome back to the channel. So in Rob's last video, which was 1487, there was an awesome suggestion that got passed along to me. So first of all, I want to thank IDK How to Pick a Username for this awesome suggestion. And they basically suggested that I take this Whirlpool Turbine, lay out aluminium over the top and then lay out ink over the top, basically combining the Tang idea with this. And I think that's really cool because even though this turbine will take some energy out, we should be able to scavenge even more. So that is really cool. But before we actually crack on with this, let's talk about this first. Water and wind, well, they're basically both fluids and we've taken a look at wind quite a bit recently. And now I think it's time for water to shine. So water has two types of energy. There's potential energy and there's kinetic energy. And this, well, it's a perfect example of potential energy. And this is a perfect example of kinetic energy. So now we've seen both types of energy, we have a choice. So I'm planning on using kinetic and letting it drop through. Okay, so before we go outside and test it, let me show you how I've actually got this thing set up. So I've got a whirlpool generator on the top like this, two feet underneath to give it some lift, and then I've got my old rain fuel generator. And what happens is I'll stick this underneath like this, get it lined up, and have a piece of builder's board there just to hold it in place. That way, when the water flows through, it's gonna come down, go over these contacts, and we should actually get something out of it. So let's give it a test. So here is our usual setup, and I've also got my pit set up too. So let's give it a go. Oh, oh wowzers! <laughs> That's awesome. That is, isn't it? That is awesome. What's that? About 185 to 190 microamps. Not bad. So that result is just plain awesome. And I know that we didn't actually produce much in the way of amps, but the whole point of this video is to show you, well, even though all the energy has been taken out by this turbine, we can still scavenge something. And I just believe that is super cool. And again, I want to thank IDK How to Pick a Username because that suggestion was just awesome. But with that being said, that does bring me to the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them all. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you later.